Hey guys, and welcome to another advanced tutorial. I'm your host, Renault, and we're going to be covering the boxcar animal hauler train car that um, I showcased in my engine video. So, just like before, we're going to start with the hitch, and we're going to place a, a piston and put a, a torch under there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this dark blue wool all the way out to the rail, and then same as before, we're going to count back 31. So you can see that my other car I made like a tan kind of color, like a yellow painted car. Uh, this one I'm going to do the CSX color, so it's going to match the um, train car, the engine. I'm going to do a dark blue and a light blue uh, combination. I'm going to split it halfway. So same as before, count back from the end, 31. And we're going to outline the base of our car again. I'm gonna bring it all the way down, and there we go. Let's go ahead and put our back hitch in here. Just throw it up, there we go. Throw a torch under there just so we can see what it's going to look like. Yep, that's cool. That's the size that we need. So let's go ahead and put our wheels in. So just like before, we're going to count back three. One, two, three. Put our first wheel, a gap of two, and our second wheel. And then we'll put our anvils in between. So there's our two anvils. Come to the back side, do the same thing. Count in three. Two, three, wheel. And we'll get our anvils in there. And you can mix and match any color siding or anything that you want on this. Really, it's just like, make sure you use the pillars for the doors. So we're gonna do three. Leave a gap of five and then one block leave a gap of five and then three blocks leave a gap of five then one block leave a gap of five and then do three more on the end and we can go ahead and bring this all the way down and we're going to repeat the pattern on this side so three blocks gap of five one gap of five three gap of five one gap of five and three so now we can see that our train is already two blocks thick so just like before we're gonna make it four thick so what we're gonna do is run the light blue wool over anywhere where there's the dark blue wool we're gonna run it double thick two layers Run this all the way around. And, I mean, you could make it four different colors if you wanted. You can make it one color, whatever you want. And I love to see, I love it when guys or other builders send me um, their versions of the stuff that I've, I've shown them how to make, and it's awesome. So, now that we got that done, we're gonna go ahead and put in our floor here. So even with that first row, we're just gonna go ahead and fill this in with uh, gray wool, cause it's what I had in my inventory. Um, you can use whatever you want. If you wanted like a wood paneled floor, you know, use a uh, some spruce or pine planks or something. Um, I'm just gonna fill it in with the gray. You can do a pattern on here so it looks like grating. You know, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. This is just the uh, down and dirty quick way to do it. And none of these cars should take you very long at all. You know, so I mean, if you wanted to dedicate an hour to building your train, I mean, you could knock out 
a good, you know, 10 or 12 cars in an hour. So then what we're going to do is we're going to fill in all these gaps with three layers of the pillars and we're going to lay the pillars on their side so that it looks like a like a garage door kind of texture. And we're going to go ahead and fill them all in. And uh, when we put the handles on the outside is when we'll pick which doors we want open or halfway open or, you know, anything like that. So we're just going to finish this up here. And, oh, I had one sideways. There we go. And it looks like the sun is setting on us. I hope I can finish these before the sun sets and we start working on the roof and exterior of the car. And once you get all these filled in, it is a good time. Like if you wanted to put animals in here, like uh, to throw some spawn eggs in here before you put the roof on, that's a good time. Oh, come on, I know I can finish this. One more row. And there we go, it's all done. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this roof here. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run, again, I'm just running this uh, slab all the way around the outside edge. And I'm using quartz, but you could use whatever you wanted. Um, I would stay away from the nether, the nether slabs, the, the purple, I don't know, it's kind of hard to make it work. Um, if you're using some kind of yellow, it'll work because they're complementary colors. So once we get that in, we're going to do another layer on top. We're just going to step it back one and do another layer all the way around. And we're going to keep doing this, stepping back one and doing a layer, stepping back one, doing a layer until we uh, completely cover the train, the train car. Go ahead and fill it in. And I'm not speeding up any of this or, you know, doing cuts like I normally do because I want you guys to see really how fast you can build one of these cars and not to be, like, intimidated by a project like building a train because it'll take too long or you think you can't do it, it'll be too hard. As you can see, it's really not that difficult at all. It's, it's a large project, but you can really, you can knock it out in a few hours. So let's run this center block all the way through. And there we go. And we got now just really the detail work on the outside. So we're gonna run buttons all the way around the bottom layer of this. And then once we get those in, um, all of the, in between all the doors, wherever there's like an upright, we'll run a layer of buttons up the middle. So if there's, you know, if it's three blocks wide, we'll run it up the center. If it's one block wide, we'll just run it straight up. And, yep, there we go, straight up. do the corners on the outside edge and what we'll end up doing is filling that center with ladders and let's get this front side right here 
and there we have it there's all our our gray buttons are in place so we're gonna go ahead and grab this ladder and we're done with the gray buttons so we're gonna run a ladder along this front door and then opposite of it on the back side along the outside edge of this back door and then we'll fill in the front and the back of the car with ladders so three rows of ladders Alright, and really all we got left is our door handles. So let's uh, pick a couple here, knock out that bottom row. So the door's partially open, there we go. And we'll, um, yeah, we'll leave that one closed. Let's come to this side. Um, we'll go ahead and open this door up a little bit, throw a handle on there. Another one. Let's go ahead and open this door a little bit too, so we can kind of get an idea, we can see through the car. And there you have it. That is the uh, animal hauler kind of box car, more modern version of a box car. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if it was, go ahead and sub to my channel. Be sure to, be sure to check out spanklevision.com for exclusive map downloads. Um, and remember, what do you want to build today?